up when you find something unusual again, will ya? Yeah, I heard they'd hide their true identity, and doesn't sound like something I could pull off. I'd probably have my cover blown in less than three minutes. Splendid view, right? As promised, I owe you a lot of explanation. No, I wasn't expecting to meet you. My order was to oversee our deal with the Fraxidus. You were just a pawn in my plan to find where Lorong kept the puppets. But I didn't expect him to try and escape with them. Couldn't risk exposing myself yet, so I had to track him down and retrieve the puppets. Around that time, Dollmaker caught wind of your special abilities. He asked me to bring you to that safe house. Up to the voltage for the best effect. Was that just a zap to you? No wonder our doll maker took so much interest in that body of yours. Unfortunately, no. He tried but couldn't gain access. According to him, you possess a power beyond his understanding that prevented him from prying into your mind. You might be more special than you had thought. Said he couldn't read your mind without risking his own sanity, let alone retrieve any information. I can't imagine what the hell is going on beneath your skull. Who knows? Maybe you helped some strangers again only to mess with the wrong person and ended up with your memories gone. I say you should stop playing hero and take better care of yourself. You'll live longer that way. Don't think I need to, since you can handle yourself just fine. But if you ever need my help, 
just let me know. We have a lot in common, both alone in this world. Maybe I'll keep you in my thoughts. A reminder that I'm not the only solitary soul out there. And eventually, we'll both learn to move through our lives with loneliness. Perhaps the same loneliness was too much for Dollmaker to bear. That's why he gave up everything to resurrect my parents. Yes, after my parents' death, we all became chess pieces to him, myself included. Raised me to be a patroller for his own agenda. He needed a mole in the Public Security Bureau. In the end, I did become a patroller, but failed to stay by his side as he desired. Maybe I'm indeed a heart-wrenching betrayer to him. Yes, we all have to face the consequences of our actions. I don't plan to defend him. But if I had acted sooner, this whole mess could have been avoided. Why didn't I do something? Perhaps... Like everyone else in the Seance Society, I too held on to that naive pipe dream. The dream of finally meeting my parents and having a real family. I indulged in it more than I care to admit. Deep down, I knew my dream was built upon the sacrifices of innocent lives, but I couldn't bear to shatter it. Because I met you, a total outsider, risking his life for me and for all those people. A lot of it still remains unresolved. Dollmaker was merely a cog in the wheel. A bigger shadow lingers. Yes, we must stay vigilant until we expose the true culprits and destroy their plans for good. Don't tell me you're pulling out at this point. If you are, I may have to wipe my true identity from your head by force. It was a joke. Anyway, I should thank you. Because of you, I was able to accomplish far more and save many more lives than I imagined. You feel different. I have the feeling I can always trust your words, whatever you say. <laughs> well, take a guess. Oh. And lastly, there is another thing I should thank you for. For trusting me all the way till the very end. Until we meet again, Rover. Perhaps I'll meet you under an entirely different identity next time.
It's mysterious yet reassuring nonetheless. grateful, Rover, for everything you've done for me. I will do my best to help everyone.
Great food, great. The hour is upon us. You there, looking to put on some training? Good training keeps you sharp. The enemies won't go easy on you out there. One with the 
sounds. Uh, bad timing. Strike in the shadows. Surrender huh. your stuff. Huh. I sense your weakness. <laughs> Moment of resonance. I need sounds come forth. Anyone hurt? Let me check on you. Phew. You're still in one piece. Okay, okay. Anything new about the tokens? So 
those Fraxidus goons are here in Jinjo now? Things are more serious than I thought. Beats me. I've only ran into some bozos before. Those wackos are hell-bent on making their own resonators. Said there's no right or wrong when it comes to resonance powers, and everyone should have the right to them. They use mechanical manipulation to integrate parts of tacit discords into human bodies, seeking power with such gruesome acts. I cannot bring myself to understand them. That scar guy you mentioned sounds like he's on a whole other level. How did the fight go? He, um, it seems he didn't intend to kill us. I would even say he was pulling his punches. I don't know what he wants from us. But Madam Magistrate may have intended to hint something by letting us run into him. I still can't wrap my head around what happened in that village. I went over the files. That case is ancient. It was dealt with and archived way before our current Magistrate took office. What happened to the village in the end? Don't worry. The crooks were brought to justice and most of the villages were relocated to new settlements. But I didn't find anything in the files about that little girl you mentioned. So Scar really did take her over, I agree. If only we could capture him. Ah, uh, I'm so lost. Why did Madam Magistrate point you to Chi-Chi Village anyway? What did she want to tell you with that? And that Scar went there to tamper with the site and mislead you with fake clues. <sighs> you mean? The Fraxidus was planning to tell you something about what had happened in that village. Then our magistrate intercepted by leading you there before... Hmm. Madam Magistrate knew they were going to lure you to the village, and she knew they weren't planning to kill you. Her token was a warning that the Fraxidus had their eyes on you. How so? You mean she's got someone looking out for you? Or maybe she prepared other means of protection. What's the matter, Rover? The legendary figure who changed Jinjo's history? A looming war with the resurrecting Thrinodian? And the Fraxidas acting in the shadows? If all of these have something to do with your true identity, then... Who except... Come to think of it, the sundial's the last token we need to work out. Mr. Mortify said it's an intricate puzzle box. Madam Magistrate might have hid her real message inside. Yes, it's the twelfth Shichen of the day. Represented by the symbol Wei, now we have the Shichen of Wei and Vermilion Bird. We should be able to solve the puzzle. So, Rover, you gonna try it now? Symbols on the larger disk represent time. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be... Hmm, it's not working. So, we can rule out the Shichen of Yo now. The correct time we learned at the Academy should be... Ah, it's working. And now? Symbols on the smaller disk represent direction. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be... We have Teal Long of the East, White Tiger of the West, Vermilion Bird of the South, and Black Tortoise of the North. According to the clues we've gathered, it should be...
Wow, you really solved it. Wait, I don't think it's something we're allowed to see. Quick, Yang Yang, we should turn around. Come on, just go ahead and see what's written inside. Grand libraries in Huanglong are renowned for their vast databases, holding valuable information about the regions they represent. Their exact locations are kept confidential, but it is believed they hold answers to all questions one could ask. The Grand Libraries are vital for Huanglong's data security, managed by the regional sentinels, accessible only to the magistrates. They're rarely open to the public. Kind of like a big piggy bank inside the city hall, data-wise. Yes, you will find the most comprehensive and accurate information there. Rover, if you need to visit the Grand Library in Jinzhou to find out who you are, I think it suggests two things. First, there is a strong link between your past and Jinzhou's history. Second, you must be a really significant person. So you're super important to Jinzhou, maybe even all of Wang Long. Wow, I think we stumbled upon a real big shot when we didn't even know it. What's the matter, Rover? Something wrong with the sundial? It is Jinjo's political center, and it's also located at the city center, if that's what you mean. The city hall was built when Jinjo was established. It's a popular landmark for locals giving directions. Why do you ask, Rover? See, what did I say? Covert ops. Real confidential stuff going on. Mm. Come on, Yang Yang. It's just a one on one meeting with Madam Magistrate. What's the worst that could happen? Relax, relax. I guess you're right. Still, please be careful. We'll be waiting for you.
Hidden passage. As I expected. That must be the entrance to the database. Part of the building is submerged. I should be able to find the hidden path underwater. It seems I have a puzzle to solve. I see. The control panel here does look like a musical instrument, but five music notes seem to be missing. So to gain access to the database, I will need to recover the five missing notes stored on those sono discs. What is that sound coming from behind the symphodi? This must be one of the missing notes. Now, how do I connect it with the symphodi? Part of the score holder just lit up, as I expected. The drum over there seems to have unlocked. The bell just raised out of the water. So that's what it meant by having the bells guide my path. has shown up. I must have solved the first puzzle. Seems I will need to look for more sono discs in there. <sighs> Tacit discords? Inside the city hall. No, they are not real. They must be some kind of digital simulation. It seems they are the guards here. Interesting how I'm not hearing sirens. I suppose it's telling me where I can find the next sono disc. I think it mentioned a direction. What does that last sentence mean, though? That sound. It's coming from the west. This is the second sono disc. I should bring it to the symphodi. The water level just dropped again. There's another two drums, one in the east and another in the west. I may find more seams locked. Guess I'll need to activate the other one first. So this is the right way to go. I'm being fed just enough information to work out the puzzle. This does look like Miss Magistrate's doing. <sighs> the drum on the other side is unlocked. Guess I'll go check on it before I leave. Just to be safe, the music I just heard.
Here it is. Time to deal with the guards. Jinjo City Hall is the political hub, while the Grand Library holds vital data. Considering how I just took out, I've retrieved the third Sono disc. Time to head back. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me, and it's very much my companion now, bearing witness to everything I've experienced on this journey. every gain. Another platform. The bells will lead my path. Huh. I'll go work out the passageways. Feeling. I'm being watched. Must be another sono disc. This is the fourth missing note. Almost there. Now the water is all gone. One last note to go. This is the last one. They've prepared quite the welcome for me. Let me be your blade. No hesitation. One with the sounds. The hour is upon us. I have the last sauna disc ready. Time to go back to the Symphondi. Now I should have access to the database.
So this is the Grand Library. It's said to hold the answers to every question imaginable. I'm not seeing anyone here. I guess the Magistrate is yet to arrive. Well, it wouldn't hurt to browse the archives for a bit as I wait for her to show up. Thank you for leading the way, Rover. What a magnificent place to set foot in. Extensive, exhaustive. Oh, how I want to carve the place inside out and blow it all to shreds. Huh, thought you'd seem a bit more surprised. I wonder why. So you've laid a trap for me. Interesting. Do you really think you can trap me here? You will not escape. What a shame I can't stay and play with you a bit longer. Till we meet again, dear friends. You're not going anywhere.
myself up to be my prey? <laughs> now, it's just the two of us. Stow away that irrational anger of yours. I just have a friendly reminder. Seeing is not always believing. Why are you so sure they told you the truth? Don't jump to conclusions so soon. Why are you so stubborn? Why can't you play some... ...that trust in me? Or do I have to crush you to make you behave for once?
Resistance is futile. Shot and befuddled by both. Even the stiffest tree cracks. Last chance. One with the sounds. One with the time. We heard you can tear those monsters into sh- Wanna take a look? <gasps> yes! Please! Okay then, here you go! Some. I hope these candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. See? He's not scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. 
You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. I will. See you soon. Hmm. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. You must be that famous rover. Haya, I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessing swell. You really are different from everyone else. So we've shaken hands. Now we're good friends. Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. Yeah, the lion dance troupe. We do cool lion dancing shows for parades. Oh, and lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. Well, actually, Yes, it is. Jinjo people love feeding our guests. It's our way of showing hospitality. Get ready to be blown away by the amazing flavors here. But right now, I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinjo. Can't just turn them down. So, I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the grand performance? That way, everyone's happy. We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's needs. But first, gotta figure out exactly what our clients want. Rover, wanna come with me? We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around and introduce you to our local customs firsthand. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? Great! Let's go! Okay, let me think. My first client's nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. Come take a look at our official merch. Oh, you are? Five-fold blessings grace your door. Good luck and fortune evermore. Aw, the lucky greetings. You're from the Lion Dance Troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Are you here for my grandpa's birthday party? I thought our reservation was tomorrow. Did you maybe mix up the time? Ah, uh, here's the thing. 
people from City Hall already booked a lion dance show on the same day for soldiers leaving on an expedition. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could do that for him. Nice! Just double checking again. It will be your grandfather's 60th birthday, right? Correct. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your grandpa has lived through. Means I'll dance around our birthday star on the poles. It's a special birthday celebration dance. One spin for a decade past, health and vigor forever last. Thank you so much. I'm sure Grandpa will be happy to hear that. Done. Now, on to the next client. Hmm. I remember it's a young... couple. Blissful union, endless delight, love eternal in thee a light. Oh my, look who's here. Come here, Ling Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you, and this one here. Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that lion dance request you made. City Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the same day, so... Really? So you won't be able to perform for us? We were both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the lion dance officiant ceremony during our wedding. It's an interactive where the bride and groom stand on either side of the lion dance performer. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands inside and it bites down. It's called settlement. It symbolizes an unbreakable bond. I know this wedding means everything to you, and I don't want you to have any regrets. Your love is rock solid, and I can see that. The lion dance officiant ceremony would just be the cherry on top of your unbreakable bond. How about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? It'll be a lively atmosphere with drums, gongs, and firecrackers bursting in celebration. Even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted, isn't it still a unique way to exchange vows in front of your loved ones? And it symbolizes, to the world's end, your hearts aligned. To the sky's edge, your fates entwined. Oh, that's so sweet. My partner's a soldier in training, headed to defend our borders soon. The Lion Dance show for departing soldiers must mean a lot to him. Shang, what do you say? Sure. I'm happy to go along with whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. We'll need some more time to think it through. No problem. I'll wait to hear from you. All right. Just one more client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ugh, my stomach's rumbling again. Can't wait for a big feast. Here we are. This is the place. Hey, -a, mister. Lion peppers on the beam. May your profits always stream. Oh, hi. Isn't that the Lin Yang boy? What brought you here? My lion dance request? 
I heard you were getting a ton of requests. I hope you can still fit mine in. Look, I got the lion pepper and everything. Just waiting for you to put on the lion head and chow down at my store opening. Sir, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, I heard. My thing conflicts with the performance you're doing for the soldiers, right? Will you have to cancel? Exactly. So I was thinking we could incorporate some lion pepper elements into the show to make up for it. Nah, no need to worry about my little shot, boyo. Just focus on your big performance. Oh, and you must be... <laughs> Looks like Lin Yang has made a new friend. Here, try this while you're here. A new snack I just came up with. Go on, Rover. Dinner's on me. Mr. Shun Chai is a great chef. To really get to know a city, start with the food. Yum, yum! Hey, sir, can we share this snack with the audience during our evening show? No snacks, no show. Let me do something for you. Anything to help you attract more customers. Oh, my. That'll be my great honor. But... What's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild recently. One they call the Jingle Beast. The Jingle Beast? Yeah, somehow the nickname sounds cute even. But you know what? It does all the terrible stuff you can think of. When hunting, it makes these jingling sounds. They say its tusks are over half a metre long and its claws shred prey with ease. No, that's not true. The Jingle Beast doesn't look like that. It... it's a... a friend of mine. Wow! Actually, I need this one ingredient for my new snack. But the Jingle Beast has been messing things up. Can't find good meat anywhere right now. Do you have any other ways to rep- Well, there's only one place left to get it, and it's run by this exile group called the Savages. Apparently, they're in cahoots with the Jingle Beast, and that's how they still have meat for sale. But it's crazy expensive. Five times the usual price. It's insane. I'm just a small shop. How am I supposed to afford that? So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you to hand out yet. Me? Oh, I'm fine. It suddenly struck me that there was another request to deal with. I... I it should be right next to the tea house, not far away. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. Sorry, Rover. I'll be back soon. Oh, that's typical Lin Yang. You'll get used to him soon. He's spontaneous, always doing whatever pops into his head in the moment. He just loves helping people. You'll often see him sprinting around the alleys, lending a hand wherever needed. He's quick and strong, nothing seems to faze him. He's been such a blessing to us. We do feel bad when he injures himself accidentally, though. He brushes it off and tells us not to fret. But even though he says not to worry, we still do. Rover, can you go check on him? 
Whatever you order at my place will be on the house. Thank you. The tea house Ling Yang mentioned is in the residential area, just past the square. Keep walking and you'll find it. but I'm not the one you're looking for. I never made any lion dancing requests. Rover, what brought you here? It's not a big deal, really. Thanks for coming to check on me. I received a strange request from the Bay family. It didn't mention any specific requirements. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Please, one moment. Beishi, do you have an older brother? How did you know? The client who called me had a mature male voice. And since he said he's from the Bay family, there's only one other possibility. Beishi, has something happened to you? <sighs> I'm Ling Yang from the Lion Dance Troupe. This is Rover. You can trust us. It's about my brother, Bei Ji. It's been a week now and he still hasn't come back home. A week ago? That's when I received this request. Was he acting strange the last time you saw him? My brother and I stopped talking to each other a while back, after a big fight. I don't even know when he last left our house. But he still sends me packages from time to time. It's been a bunch of strange stuff. This package has old Angelica flowers. They don't smell good anymore. And these meats, they're almost bad, even though they're refrigerated. Anything else he told you? He mentioned hanging out with people from the Savages in one of his letters. I didn't tell anyone because I was worried my brother would get in trouble if I reported it to the police. Yeah. The savages seem shady. And there's talk of the Jingle Beast being connected to them. But the return addresses on these packages are all different. How are we supposed to find him? I see. Rover, you're so clever. Beishi, leave it to me. I'll help you find your brother. Can I go with you? I get it, Beishi. You really want to find your brother. But it's dangerous out there with the TD outbreaks happening more frequently. I can't guarantee your safety if we run into a spreading tacit field. I... I can handle it. I used to be a member of the Pioneer Association, too. Us pioneers never, never back down from a challenge. But I... If you insist. Okay, but we'll need to ask Rover about it. He's a strong resonator. With him, we'll be safer on our journey. To be honest, I don't want to drag my friend into this. But this is an emergency, and Beishi wants to tag along, so I'm asking a favor of you. Rover, I know it's a big ask. 
But please, please help me. Amazing! Thank you, Rover. The guy who brings my packages is always the same dude, and I know where he works from. Okay, let's get this dealt with. Rover, are you ready? Here. Wait, there's someone calling for help. Over there! The Hu Chiefs are attacking someone! Thank you, you saved my life. Are you all right? Thanks for asking. I'm fine. I could have run away, but then the packages wouldn't reach their recipients. Of course, we promise we deliver. That's our slogan at Lalo Logistics. We're searching for a missing person who used your service. Can you help us? Sure, you just saved my life. I'll tell you everything I can remember. Hmm, uh, I'm sorry, but this doesn't ring any bell. But we just checked the package tracker, and it said you were the delivery man. M m maybe it was a mistake? I see. Well, we still have another question. The Twinkle Beast? Oh, you mean that monster everyone's been talking about recently. You mean the Jingle Beast, right? 
Yeah, wh whatever. That dangerous man-eating thing. It's said to have long tusks and sharp claws that can tear anything to shreds. And there's this exile group called the Savages, and they claim to be able to talk to that beast. So people have been paying them to talk the Jingle Beast out of attacking humans. That's all I know, sir. Thank you, but I've got one last question. Do you know where we can find the Savages or the Jingle Beast? Sorry, but we have our rules to, to follow. I cannot divulge details of our clients, but I heard the Jingle Beast is often found roaming in a campsite. It's somewhere near a broken tree on that mountainside. Well, those working on the guard tower can often spot it, too. I see. Thank you for answering my questions. Sir, may I remind you? That thing is very dangerous. It's ferocious beyond your wildest imagination. Please be careful. And there may be more than one of them. Don't worry. If there really was a second Jingle Beast, well, I'll have to see it for myself. Oh well, we didn't get anything useful from him. Yeah, at least now we know the Savages and the Jingle Beast are definitely connected. Besides, did you see his expression? He seemed frightened. I bet he was hiding something from us out of fear. Well, at least we still got some clues from him, like where we can find the Jingle Beast. But there are so many campsites in the wild. How can we pinpoint its exact location with a couple of words from him? Follow me. Let's keep our eyes open for anything unusual. Campsite near a broken tree and visible from the guard tower. I think I know where it is. That's the place. Let's look around and stay alert. From the size of this campsite, it doesn't look like they can hold a big gathering here. The broken tree... It should be somewhere up ahead. Let's keep walking, hmm? I just heard people talking. It's coming from above that slope. Shh! Let's lay low. Let's not step on those bushes. Try not to make any noise.
how did it go? <laughs> You're so smart, boss. That Jingle Beast rumor really did the trick. So they're really here? Shh, keep quiet. Do you see these bushes? These bushes are not supposed to grow so well on exposed ground. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. I'll give him that. Hmm, he's too nosy. Can't shut up about the Jingle Beast. Let him go find the beast if he's so eager. And then we'll handle him ourselves. Boss, I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. He probably won't believe in the Jingle Beast rumor. Let's see how he feels after we rough him up in the dark. You get it now? Brilliant plan, boss. You're relentless. <laughs> Watch and learn, kid. You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone. Let's go. Grab your stuff. Phew. Are they gone? No. Wait, they're still near. I can still hear them breathing. They're on high alert. But they're still inexperienced by beast standards. Okay, now they've gone farther away. Let's go check it out. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. <gasps> this is... This is my brother's device. How could this be? Is my brother really working for those bad guys? Beishi, what kind of person is he? He's shy and careful, but not sneaky. He may be timid, but he really loves me. Beishi, sometimes we can't trust what we hear or see. We have to use our hearts and logic to uncover the real truth. It's not always obvious. Thank you. I see. Rover, you found anything else? It's just the tusk of an adult saber boar. It's indeed larger than usual, but they might be using this to make people believe the Jingle Beast is real. They're not just spreading rumors. They are also selling spoiled meat. Ugh, it pisses me off too. The top priority now is to find clues about Beiji's whereabouts. Now we have another problem. We have to keep tabs on the savages to see what they're planning. According to what we just heard, their next victim is about to show up. Sounds good. The savages are super alert, but I know the wilderness better than them. I can track them down. She'll be safer with you by her side. If anything happens, I'll call you. Thank you, Rover. You take care of yourself, too. This thing may still be working. 
My brother could have left me a message. Hmm. Ah, there is a message. Sorry, Beishi. I stood between you and your dreams. Perhaps you were right. Your brother is just a selfish coward. I don't dream of your forgiveness. But still, I want to do something for you. Farewell, Beishi. I'll kill the Jingle Beast for you. It's my brother. It's probably because I joined the Pioneer Association. My brother was really against my decision. But that was my childhood dream. So we had a big fight. I... I don't know. He never told me anything about it. It must be the Jingle Beast. I know. I know that sound too well. A while ago, when I was on a mission in the wilderness, I got ambushed by tacit discords. As I struggled to escape, I heard the sound of a bell ringing in the distance. I... I can't remember. I was so scared, my mind went completely blank. After hearing the bell, I... I just kept running without looking back. That bell kept chasing me and only disappeared when I reached a safer place. If I hadn't made it, perhaps I would have been eaten by the Jingle Beast. So yes. This must be the Jingle Beast again. All right, let's go.
Joint operation. of the past.
You there, looking to put on some training? Good training keeps you sharp. The enemies won't go easy on you out there.
Strike from the shadows. One with the sounds. of resonance.
Show me the action. of the past.
cherish every gain. In this world, there are only those things which are not yet known, not those which cannot be known. I seem to be one step closer to the truth I seek. of the past. Cherish every gain.
unexpected discovery. Cherish every gain. Remnants of the past. Unexpected discovery. Remnants of the past.
light from the shadows. <gasps> the end has come. Remnants of the past.
moment of resonance. Doesn't sound like a good bargain. <sighs> Cherish every gain.
Tan and I will ensure your safety. Rejuvenating snow.
hour is upon us. Verity shines. Appear before me. I sent your witness. Bad timing. One with the sounds. Storm, hear my command. Precipitate. Swift and resolute. has come. One with the sounds. One more time. Transmitting frequency. Acceptable damage. Come forth. Appear before me. Acceptable damage. Strike your shadow. One with the sounds.
lives. Immense healing appear before me. One with the sounds. The end has come.
your commission. Alone. Your kindness, I have certainly received. Naturally, I'll work for you in return. you'd want me to join you in person. Appear before me. No hesitation. One with the sounds. Moment of resonance.
The discovery.
of the past. Moment of resonance. One with the sounds. Target confirmed. All is fair in war. Administering first aid.
follows. All is fair. Swift and resolute, the end has come. No hesitation. Last chance. All is fair. Swift and resolute. I sense your weakness. The hour is upon us.
unleash the fang. All is fair. Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Strike from the shadows. Target confirmed. The end has come. One with the sounds. All is fair. Appear before me. War spares no one. time. Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Neighbor! How dare you!
use your weakness along with the stars. The hour is of the past.
Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> 